What's the Hanukkah story? The Yevonim did not mind that they learned Tere. They just wanted no bittle. The Yisad of the Sikh is what? That Mayim isn't Tere. That Mayim is bittle. And the second Yisad is that if you don't have bittle, you push your hands and it correctly. You can't understand the correct bittle because it's bleak full. That's where the Choshma Krav Yeshpe. Now the connection between this Gemara Yezav HaTzadik is sold because his brothers have Tera but they're lacking Bittl. So therefore the Makala Parim Dagi is sold Yezav is sold which is going to set up Golas Mitzrayim Yitzhiyah Mitzrayim and Matan Tera when this whole need for Bittl believe the Tera is going to be at a much much higher Madrege it starts where where somebody had a lack of Bittl. A Pikala now Sif Yud according to this is Oich moving the Kesher we can understand the relationship between the Gemara and the Masech the Shabbat in the Pasha of Hanukkah. There's no water, there's snakes and scorpions. The way the Sikh started was that the only connection between this Gemara and Hanukkah is the Bala Maimon. Now it's pushing a copy. If you understand Hanukkah and you understand this Gemara, it's pushing the same thing two times. This is the Gemara of the Lubavitcher Rebbe. The Rebbe is showing you the direct correlation between the Gemara Mayim Eim Ben Echosh and Makar from Yeshbei to Hanukkah because it's a carbon copy. It says you do uh, the Hezbeth from the Diyo Kaloshin. We all know the Diyo Kaloshin in, in the Alanisim. Kishe Om Dos Malchay Avon Arshah. This the evil kingdom of Syrian Greeks got up. Lashki Chom Teira Secha. Forget the Abish that gave you the Teira. Turn the page 330 as the Yevonim and Gevolt was all forgotten by Yidin Nida at the Bechach of Dechon Teira. Just like the Shvatim. Yeah, Rabbi Yisrael, how are you supposed to pronounce it? Zem Gekont Len. Nida at the Bechach of Dechon Teira. Operize Zech for Libertad Bechal. Nordos was Teira, Teira, Secha, Teira, Sashem. Continue learning. Enjoy yourself. Just acknowledge that it's a Chochmah. Take God out of it. And their father happens to be metamei gevesen kol hashmanim, which is why they contaminated all the hashmanim in the base of Mekdash. And nishma ab given the hashman. They didn't destroy the oil; they made a tummy. Why did the Yevonim do it? Because the Yevonim had a per, had a plan. The plan was we want teira, just tummy the teira. Let them use shemen, tummy the shemen. We all know the famous thing that the Abish does not make a miracle for nothing. And the 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 nest of the Muhammad had to happen; had to win the war. But the nest of the shemen was not necessary. Yeah, you could have used shemen tamei also. Abi Allah. So why did the Abish have to make a nest that one jug they shouldn't touch? And the Vesach and the Achrei they bring the famous Shaila. What's the Kohen Gadol doing in the Lishkas Hashmanim? Since when does the Kohen Gadol seal the jugs? And he says Nachmed. He says that if the, if the Yevonim would have seen a jug with the Kohen Gadol's chasimah, they were the first one they would have been metamei. And the answer is the way to find the Maimorim, it goes to the Madrig of Yechida. The, the, the whole thing was, that was part of the nest. The Kohen Gadol walked in one day, put his chsima on one jug, they put it away in a special place, and that was the only one they found. The Teret says, Rabdi Yitzchakim, for Chanukah, Bashtayt, and Dem, as Zolzayin, Terasech, Hashem, and Toy. The whole story of Chanukah was about purity. That the whole reason for Ness of Chanukah, of Shemen, was to show Chivus and Shayiso, to show the Ibish's love for the Jewish people. Because they had Mesiris Nefesh. Without any cheshbonis, which created the nest, and the Abishter wanted to show their chaviva, so he made the nest of Shemin. Because the nest of Shemin was not necessary to win the war. The nest of Shem was necessary to show that the whole point of the war was tahara, or a bittle in our language. which is the bittles of Nesanatayim, is the only way to learn Taira, not get into troubles to have bittle. Now that I says in the meaning of Hanukkah, as Davka durch that lock of a neder's Hanukkah shem and toil. Only when you light Hanukkah candles from pure oil, that carrier will regal the time of day. You can get rid of the foot of meredes, time of this meredes, because because man has felt in the meaning of shem and toil. Teira secha, you're learning teira, but you forget that the Abish the teira is not alts do a mokim far a meridah. There's a possibility for rebellion, like it says when the Baal Shem decided to tell a sweet story. I knew a Yid by the name of Harav Shmuel Levi Yitzchak and Harav Levi Yitzchak Wadowski. He's gone now more than 20 years. Early Samachit. He has children. He has children, grandchildren, yeah. 
So he, he in his life, made a journey. He started out in Chaim Berlin, the town of Yerzah Kutner. Then he became close to the Klezim Begad Rebbe. Then he became close to the Klezim Rebbe. And then he ended up in Lubavitch. He moved to Kran at the end of his life. So he told me, but he knew the Klezim Begad. Klezim was a, was a very special man. He was an extraordinary man. Um, but that when they say, the tell the Maisa, the Klezim was a younger man, See, he learned Tate in a clay, in a shtibel. He would learn Tate day and night, he learned. One night, the shamis from the shul wakes up and he hears noises in the shul. So he goes into the shul and there's nobody in the shul. Dark. Nobody in the shul looks around and then he goes back to sleep. He hears noises in the shul. He comes running again. I say to him, I did to him all. Until finally, he found the clay that he knows how young a man chick. He was underneath one of the tables, laying on the floor. Laying on the floor and screaming, Rabbeinu Shalayla, Mechvil, Fashtein, Nane, Ligatein. The clay is a big enemy. He was laying on the floor under a table. He pushed it, didn't spot him. That's the story, that's the answer to the Yavonim. The same is true when it comes to Hanukkah. When you light pure oil, you're able to destroy the foot of Klippa. Tarmud ACS made this. Kozman has felt in the minion from Shem and Tatera Sechel. You're missing the idea that the Tatera Sechel is using the bittel. Is not alz da amokim for a merida made this. And maybe there's still a part of merida in Satan about it. And Dura had locked and there is the Hanukkah. We like the Hanukkah. Like but Al Pesach base may be put on the outside of your home to the street. That Uvget on them Kalya regal the time of day you finish. The foot of Merida Oich Ben Ashuk from the street as well, with Tachat Hashem completely, as Mizin Gansen Mechal the Minif Merida, you remove the idea of a position. Unafilu the Rigla the time the feet of Tamadav. There's a Madre Tachat is also missing. Biz Meiz Meir the Cheshchas Agolos you illuminate the darkness of the Golos. O Membrein Tarav the Gula Amites Vashleim Mebekadav Mamish you bring down the tro- true and whole and perfect and peaceful Gula. Take it from Yad Mamish. Very good. Very good.